Hi guys, I'm Megan with the Central Library and today I'm going to show you how to turn a t-shirt into t-shirt cord and then t-shirt cord into a bracelet. So for the first step, you're going to take your t-shirt and you're going to lay it out flat. You're going to cut off from underneath the arms here and then you're going to draw, draw lines across here, evenly spaced. You're, you can freehand if you want, but it's pretty important that everything be an even line, so it's really best if you use some kind of a guide. You don't, if you don't have a ruler at home, you can use a newspaper or a magazine, anything that has a straight edge that you don't mind getting some marker on. You can do it any width you like, but you don't want to go under about a half inch because that's going to make it really hard to, to stay together. It's gonna, it might snap pretty easily. So we're going to take a break and do that and come back real quick. So you can lay this part flat, we're just going to hold it up here so you can see it. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut at an angle from the corner here, this little bit, to the external corner there, and keep doing so across. And same thing, you're going to go across from one angle to the other, like so. And as you start to do that, you, when you, you're going to start to get a long length of cord, and you're going to do that across the whole way. When you're all done, you're gonna to wanna to stretch it out a little bit just to get, to get some of the give out of there. You can do that as you wrap it up into a ball and you're actually gonna get quite a lot of cord out of it. This is a pretty small t-shirt and we still end up getting a pretty big ball in the end. So what we're gonna be doing with the, with, the, with the t-shirt yarn is a technique called finger weaving and you can do this in a couple of different ways. You can do it with two fingers, three fingers, or four fingers and it's just gonna change the width of it. So we're gonna start show you guys three fingers, but you can adjust it however you want. If you wanna play around with it and change your mind, you can. The t-shirt yarn is pretty forgiving, so you can mess up, you can just change it, you can do whatever you want with it, and it'll probably st it'll still be fine at the end. So you're gonna take your, your yarn, and you're gonna hold it down here with your, hand, with your thumb, and you're gonna loop it across your fingers, behind and across in the front, and you're gonna come back this way and do the same. Don't go too tight, you don't wanna cut off your circulation. Oops, and then you're gonna go forth, and back and forth, and you're gonna do that until you have two loops on each finger. You press them down there. Then you're gonna loop one over the, the, from the bottom up, and loop from the bottom up, and loop from the bottom up, so you start to get the stitching. This is gonna, this is gonna take a little while to actually look like anything, so don't worry if it, do, if it doesn't look like it's starting to turn into a weave at first, it just takes a little time. So we're gonna do that again, and do that again. So you have two loops, and same again. Loop over, and loop over, and loop over. You're gonna try and keep your tension kind of consistent here if you can, but like I said, you have, a, you have a pretty forgiving piece of yarn here, so it's easy to mess up and undo and do it over again. And we're just gonna do this a few more times until you start to see what we're talking about. And loop over, and loop over. So, this, so we've been at it for a few rounds here. You can see how it's starting to form a cord. So you can do this to any length you want. We're just gonna show you how to finish it off. So you're gonna take your, so you're gonna take your loop here and you're gonna drop it over the next finger over and you're gonna drop it over that. And you're gonna do the same to the next finger, just working it over, up and over. And for the last little bit, you're just gonna loop the loose end through and tie it snugly and you have a cord. One of the nice things about this is that it's very easy to fasten. A lot of the friendship bracelets can be kind of a pain to take on and off, but this one you can untie and tie really easily, and you can do a lot of other things with the cord as well. Thanks, guys. Have fun.